Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over some memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. I should mention today a lot of the memes are going to come from underscore shoulder underscore, just how things happen to shake out. I'm Fifthism's number one fan. Wouldn't it be better if you were Fifthism's number five fan? <laughs> I, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually, I used to be more on the, um, fifthism and everything, uh, everything associated with the number five has to be a fifthism, uh, reference, but I've actually come around to the idea that it doesn't because it's, uh, it makes it a little bit more interesting when it is, if it, if it's not everything, uh, if it was everything, then every time it comes up, you're just like, oh, well, you know, I know where this is going. Uh, when it's not everything, then every once in a while you see the number five and you're like, eh, yeah, it could be, maybe not. And then you get to the end of an article and you get surprised in a good way. And I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> Although five, five, five. Yeah, I, I, that was the right number of fives. <laughs> Four fives. Five, 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 five should have been a fifth as an article. I'm sad that it wasn't. Me, after reading the fever dream that is CCK class copyright infringement scenario, trying to comprehend literally anything. Okay, um, <laughs> I was, oh man, I am really actually was surprised if it's, yeah, it's the article I'm thinking of. The, I'm super surprised that it was posted and or survived. Uh, this one's also by uh, the previous art. Uh, meme and this one are both by uh underscore shoulder underscore uh i was surprised that the copyright infringement lawsuit uh article tale was uh actually posted to the wiki i'm surprised that it survived for as long as it did without any edits uh but eventually staff did get to it because it was blatantly uh, i mean like blatantly a problem most of the project crossover stuff is a serious copyright lie calling it a problem's wrong it's a liability to the scp wiki and i don't mean in the sense i i guess i kind of do but not really in the sense of a legal liability so much as it's a cost that down the road they're gonna have to pay if they leave it up period just like the old uh arguments i used to make about the images were before people finally fucking started listening to me about it Foundation personnel, exclusionary sites, looking outside after something fucked up the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going out there. Um, I do. I, I really enjoy the idea of uh, the ex quote unquote exclusionary sites that basically sites that are outside of reality or something so that when the world is changed, altered or whatever, they aren't affected. I think that, that they're great, amazing stories that can be told with these sorts of uh, sorts of uh sites because you get to you get to end the world you get to change the world fundamentally but then you get to also tell the story of how people react to it and it's a it's a fun story trope also by underscore shoulder underscore this meme another shoulder meme listening to a reading of an scp article you haven't heard before listening to a reading of an scp that you literally helped create now I included this one because it's a i believe a reference to the fact that i did a reading of shoulders scp <laughs> this is a apparently all about shoulder <laughs> i think this may be the last of his memes but um or his or her memes i actually don't know um yeah i did a reading of uh, a shoulder scp because well it was uh, popular it was fun and uh uh short ish short enough it was the right length let's put it that way Oh, right. That was the one that he did with Yasi Posse about the uh, omniscient killer meme, <laughs> which is neat. Um, I'm not entirely sure I was on board with it because it basically paints a version of the SCP Foundation universe that I'm not. That I don't that I don't agree. I say that like I don't agree with it, like it's an opinion. Um, it's not my version of the SCP universe because I don't really think of the SCP universe in that sort of way. Like, there isn't a a few thousand omni, maybe a few, but not a few thousand omniscient entities to kill. I think if you'd have, honestly, I think if I think that would have worked better if it was just one. Yeah. If the GOC had just like recently developed, like do it as a tete-a-tete, -tete, not as a 
it's too much thousands thousands of omniscient one yeah i could see that i could see that as a story the scp foundation and the goc are going back and forth with their data and secrecy and all these other things and then the goc finally comes up with their trump card we have created an or created and or uh trapped an entity for our use that knows and sees everything and the scp foundation is oh really and fixes it instead of you know how do you cre here's another thing actually it's not necessarily a plot hole so much as a uh, a thing I, I, i'm i'm sorry shoulder i'm gonna have to start doing this uh but i got i gotta i got let's think it through how do you create that thing without the people and how do they <laughs> how do you create it without them knowing you were creating it they can see and know everything so they know what you're doing <laughs> so why wouldn't they have stopped you in some way it's not like you can hide it <laughs> you don't. anyway i'm just saying but if you do it in a sort of a one like, especially when there's thousands you're saying out of the thousands of omniscient omnip not omnipotent omniscient beings not a one of them not a single one of them spotted this thing happening as it was occurring and stopped it or acted to stop it to just like, yeah, I guess that's cool. And then died immediately when you created it. Like, how do you how do you get from the idea that I should create this thing to the creation of the thing to kill omniscient entities without somewhere in the middle an omniscient entity going, hey, there's a thing going on you have one you could be like ah oh, we blocked out his abilities for a short period of time or something and then we created it you know or whatever but when you you create it as this like conclusion to an epic story that you didn't tell it feels like a bit of a, a bit of a missed opportunity i guess yeah anyway anyway yeah, thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed that i don't know what that was if you enjoyed the video uh hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and then head on over to patreon.com forward slash d and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has including mc cashmill who has pledged at fifty dollars and sinjariki who has pledged at a hundred dollars and if you'd really like to support the channel you want to get something like oh, let's see if i remember the right finger it's hard to it's because this is backwards but this isn't backwards and it's the whole thing this uh poster uh there's a you're wrong about this t-shirt i really need to come up with some new designs because there's nothing wrong like these are great designs right but i think everyone who wants them probably already has them so i need to come up with some new stuff um but yeah if you would like to buy some of my stuff there is a link in the description down below there's also a carousel that goes to a different thing but that's teespring i prefer it if you go through the link because that's the new store that the scp community creators are starting to work on together as a as a group but uh yeah that's it it's nice to know that i'm not alone out here and i will see you all again on thursday